Welcome back, everybody. I'm I-Team Chief Mike Magnoli. Last week during this segment, I interviewed candidates running for state attorney in Palm Beach County. Today, it's another race entirely, but it's still justice on the ballot. I'm talking about the public defender for Palm Beach County. Carrie Howitt currently holds that office, and she's been there since 2001. Right now, two men are competing to replace her, and both of them are Democrats. That means this race won't be on the ballot in November, the party will decide who the next public defender will be on August 20th, on primary day. It's winner takes all. This is an important job in our community. The public defender is responsible for a staff of more than 200 people with a budget of $18 million a year. And in Palm Beach County, there's more than 50,000 cases per year where someone can't afford a private attorney, so the county provides one for them. Adam Frankel wants this job. He's been a well-known Delray Beach City Commissioner. He's termed out, so this would be a new uh, chapter for him. Let's take a look at his background. Former Delray Beach City Commissioner Adam Frankel wants to be Palm Beach County's next public defender. It's an office he's familiar with as he started his legal career there working as an assistant public defender from 1999 to 2001. Now he's a private attorney, often defending DUI suspects. Frankel was also part of Palm Beach County State Attorney Dave Ehrenberg's Sober Home Task Force in 2016. Now, an idea that Frankel has for the public defender's office is bringing a special juvenile mental health court to Palm Beach County. California and Texas have such courts right now. He says the public defender's website needs to be overhauled. And Frankel would like to incorporate job training when there's a community service requirement for case resolution, like sweeping floors or picking up trash on the beach. Frankel says he'd like offenders to learn something useful in addition to the public service they must fulfill. Adam Frankel with us live. Thanks for coming on the show. Good morning, Mike. Thanks for having me. Let's talk about your qualifications. Why are you the right guy for this job? Sure. So I started my legal career in the public defender's office, working for both the former public defender and the current public defender. I spent five terms or 12 years as a Delray Beach City Commissioner. We have over 65,000 people. We have a budget that is 10 times of that in the public defender's office. I've set policy for our residents and visitors in the Delray Beach area through economic downturns, through COVID, through good times and bad times. I think I have a well-rounded approach on setting policy, and I think this race is about not who the best in-court attorney is, because I think myself and my opponent, we're both good in-court in attorneys. However, there's more to that. I have relationships I've made in Palm Beach County for over 20 years. I have gone up to Tallahassee and, and lobbied for funds coming back to the, the city of Delray Beach. So I think that I'm the more well-rounded candidate for this office. I hear what you're saying, more of the management role, less about the in-court stuff, because it's been a while since you've been a public defender. It has. Uh, I, it was about 20 years ago when I was, was hired by the former public defender. I think some folks, they, they look at this role and they say, well, it's that person's job to make sure that the criminal gets the best possible deal whether that's lesser charges or a reduced sentence, um, and the person might say, that guy doesn't care about the victim of the crime. What do you make of that? Well, I think the role of the public defender not only is in court, but out of court. I think community outreach is essential. I think the goal of the public defender and the state attorney, as well as law enforcement, is to have no crimes committed. So I think I could do a good job both inside and outside the courtroom, and that's why I'm running. Do you think that there needs to be some changes um, inside of that office? Can you pick an area where there needs to be improvement and talk to me about it? Sure. My opponent thinks everything's good at the, the PD's office, and everything is good at the PD's office. However, I think things could be better. I've advocated for a juvenile mental health court. Yep. There's over 500 in the United States. We have none in Florida, none in Palm Beach County. I'm advocating for community service, not just picking up garbage on the beach or sweeping floors, but get job training. Let's get those young people uh, for a career going forward. I, I've also advocated for a better use of technology. AI is on its way. It will never uh, replace in-person meetings or, or representation, but the technology is very, very lacking, in my view, at the PD's office. So there's just three things off the top of my head. You know, when I cover cases where there's a public defender, the revolving door factor always jumps out at me. You see a different attorney, it seems like, from month to month. 
Um, what can be done to, to change that? Sure. Well, there needs to be more stability in the courtrooms. Uh, I started uh, when I was an assistant public defender at the Delray South County Courthouse. There used to be three of us, and whoever was charged with a crime in South County, they would first seek, uh, I should say, first speak to an assistant public defender. That's not the case anymore. There's one, if you're lucky, one assistant public defender, if you're lucky, they're not full time, as well as two prosecutors that, if you are charged with a crime in South County, you speak to the prosecution first. To me, that's unacceptable. If someone is seeking the representation of the public defender's office, they need to speak to their attorneys first. You need to be a good steward of taxpaying dollars. We've touched on that a little bit already. Um, can you speak to that and that part of the job? Sure, no question about it. Uh, we need to make sure our assistant public defenders are paid well because it's a very difficult job. Sure. Every year when I've gone up to Palm Beach County days, it's my role as a Delray Beach City Commissioner, I've been able to advocate and get millions of dollars back to the city. Every time I've gone up to Palm Beach County days, I've seen representatives from the state attorney's office, the clerk of court's office. I've never seen it from the public defender's office. So I think the community outreach is something, not only locally, but also up in Tallahassee, to get more of those funds back here in Palm Beach County. I was talking about this yesterday, too, during this segment. The communication sometimes coming from the public defender's office, um, in my experience, is lacking. You try to get an update on the case and the public defender's office is like, well, we're, we've got our head on the case, it's not our job to, to relay where things are. But there are a lot of public interest cases where the defendant um, is represented by the public defender's office. So what would you say about a relationship with the media and keeping the public informed about what's happening on the high profile cases that really um, grip the community sure, and upset I, the community. I think it's vital to have a good working relationship with the public and the public defender's office, and that would also include the news media. And I think that if a reporter such as yourself contacts the office, you should be able to give in straight answers and the facts on what's going on with the case. Uh, if I'm elected in uh, next, next month, August 20th, I will make sure that there will be more community engagement, more public relations, so you know exactly what's going on. And it's a winner-takes-all race. It's, it's you and Dan, and whoever wins the primary, they're going to be our next public defender. That's true. Uh, it's an open primary. Luckily, I've been supported by both Democrats and Republicans. And uh, I, I think that is vital, because if you are charged with a crime, they don't ask you what political party you are. I think it's very important, as I was as a Delray Beach City Commissioner, to act in the interest of all people, not just based on what their political party is. Thanks for spending some time with us Thank this you morning. very much for having me. We'll be right back.